Uh, well, Tony Abbott is busy taking care of David Cameron. Uh, he sent Josh Frydenberg to be his man on the ground in Brisbane from what looks like an election tally room or something. Josh, I know the polls are bad. You don't have to start this early. Hey, it's a, it's a big tally room we're in now. It's the uh, International Media Centre. There's over 3,000 media representatives from right around the world. Why well, I lead, it's a, it's a pretty hot spot to be. You're meeting some cool people while you're there, Josh. Banky Moon tonight, I believe. Is there any truth to the rumour that you're taking all the meetings that would really irritate the Prime Minister, like with, you know, climate change believers and refugee advocates and that sort of stuff? <laughs> Uh, no, uh, the Prime Minister will be meeting with all the leaders tomorrow, but obviously he can't uh, meet them all at the airport. You know, you've got over 20 leaders here from around the world, together with the heads of major international organisations like the OECD and the World Bank and the UN. So it's a great moment for Australia. Uh, they're impressive numbers, Josh, but I have a more pressing question. What is the protocol when you meet some of the bigger names there? Can you ask for an autograph and take a selfie? Uh, <laughs> no selfies uh, allowed, but you know, you can swap t shirts and there is a secret handshake. <laughs> well, I'd love for you all to sign each other's suits on the last day. It's not quite that. Will that happen, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, the secret handshakes are high five, a low five, and, uh, right. and also a, a thumbs up, so I don't think it's oh. secret anymore. Yeah, not a secret at all, Josh. You completely <laughs> let that one slip. Uh, a lot of people will be saying this G20, it's a really, really big deal. And then saying, well, what is it again? What will happen over the weekend that will change life in Australia? Well, firstly, just getting uh, the world leaders together uh, is really important. Uh, we've got a very comprehensive economic agenda, particularly about boosting jobs and growth. And the way to do that is to get more investment in infrastructure, to remove barriers to trade, to get more women into the workforce, and to ensure that the financial system is more resilient for another global financial crisis if and when it happens. So it's a really important agenda. And in the long-term interests of Australians, it's certainly uh, a very welcome development. All right, Josh, well, enjoy the weekend. I'm sure we'll hear all about it next week. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.